Hi guys, welcome to episode 6. I was in a bit of a hurry today so I started without you. But seeing as you're here now, I'll explain what I've done. I made this frame for this side, but you've already seen me build the other side, that's why I didn't film it. Now all I'm going to do is I've got to glue these two pieces, finish, trim these to size, glue these on, and all that is to hold this frame in position. But unfortunately, I forgot to mark out. I forgot to mark out my pencil line to trim it to. So I've got to fix it to the other side with my clamps, pencil on the inside, take it off, trim it to size. So, with that being said, let's get making. I almost forgot, at the end of the last video, I said I had a plan on how I was going to fit this. Well, my plan worked. Unfortunately, I didn't film it. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> anyway, my plan's worked. Don't worry, when I fit the other side, I'll do exactly the same and I'll show you how I did it. didn't go as smooth as the other side but at least it's done next thing I'm going to do mark my pencil line that I forgot trim this up to size um, just checking that I've got this right this time and then I can glue it on okay I said that then and I doubted myself but I can do it so let's get on with it yesterday where I just glued all this up. Well the glue's all dry now so I can remove all these clamps and I can get on with making the top part of the wing. I forgot to show you how I did that last time. It's quite simple in the end and if I can remember I'll film it today. Yeah that's good. I've just realised I made a schoolboy error yesterday. I was gluing all this section up and I forgot to angle these pieces, this one, this one and this one. I forgot to angle them for the top of the wing before I glued it all up, which means I've got to angle them now. So what would have taken me about a minute on my orbital sander is now going to take, oh, I don't know, but anyway, oh, I've just had an idea. I bought a new saw the other day, I'll have to try that out. Yep, I'll give that a go.
I had a big problem when I when I cut this wood out. It was all wrong. I couldn't explain it. If you remember, I kept saying, I just can't explain it. And I've been thinking how to explain it to you. Well, watch this. Here's my straight edge. If I put it on the inside of this, it's, it's straight. It's absolutely straight, straight, straight. So I assumed that when I cut this piece of wood, I'll just cut it straight. But it doesn't work like that. Because this wood is at an angle. Anything lower down, anything that's lower down is closer to the inside. So anything that's higher up is closer to the outside. What does that do when I make this piece of wood? Let me show you. Here's a piece of paper. This piece is straight. I put it on here. Everything's straight. But once I go around the curve, now, let me just stick this in position, move the camera, and I'll show you how far out that is. See, from here, straight, 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 and all of a sudden, once it goes around the curve, look at that. It's about a centimetre a centimeter and a half out. And that's the problem I had when I cut the wood the other day. So what I'm going to have to do is the same as what I did on this side. I'm going to cut a little template. I'm going to place it on the wood, cut round it, make it a little bit smaller so it fits in nice and easy and just use filler. It's not a, it's not a bad thing using filler. Ends up with a ends up with a nice finish. And once it's painted, it'll be immaculate. I hope. No, it will. It will. <laughs>
Well that's it for this episode. As you can see, it's starting to take a little bit of shape now. In the next episode, I'm going to start assembling a few of the pieces. If you like what I'm doing, do me a favour, like and subscribe. And if you need to know, ask an expert. And I'm no expert. Catch you in the next episode.